design for the Doomsday line. This is the Doomsday Machete, and this is a Sword Buyer's Guide exclusive. Each one is made to order by Chris Palmer at Scorpion Swords and Knives. And this is the newest design that we have brought to life, the Doomsday Machete. It is full tang, one piece of 3 16th steel. The total length of this is 29 inches. The blade length is 21 inches. The handle or grip is eight inches total. And the point of balance is about two and a half inches up, up past the handle. Uh, you can order this with the sheath if you like. It's a nice leather sheath that you can get with it also. My design and idea of this is I've gone through a lot of machetes in my life and with our new uh, Doomsday line, I thought what better time than to create a machete design. And with that being said, uh, here's what I came up with. I always wanted a machete. I've gone through about six or seven in my life that are were cheaper and broke or junk. So I designed this one to have a little more meat up here. It's a little wider up here, it tapers up. It's got more weight up on this end. Uh, I designed the grip to have a little more length. So even though this is a uh, overbuilt heavy duty machete, uh, it recovers well after a swing. It's got a little more weight down on this end so it's not so top heavy you don't have to use much energy it just hacks through just about anything forgive the stains that are on the blade i've already been hacking through hackberries hickory stumps old stumps wood and stuff having a great time with it so i thought i better wouldn't record this uh, so this actually has got a little bit of a hinge down on this side so you can two-hand it if you really get into some really thick stuff so i will review this completely and put it through some hard paces and Go from there. So, thank you for watching. Uh, one other thing. We have added my design for the Doomsday line onto the blades now that are kind of ghosted in, as you can see. It's the skull, the hazmat emblem. And these will be on the blades as well. So, keep watching. Hello, Jason Woodard here with my newest design. This is the Doomsday Machete, doing some test cutting on a tree that actually fell in a storm last night to see the, how the machete actually performed. So here we go. Holding up very well, I will continue my testing on the new Doomsday Machete. Alright, continuing my cutting with the Doomsday Machete. As you can see, it holds up very well, very durable. All right, continuing my review on the new Doomsday Machete, I'm going to strike it against a metal pole, see how it performs. Here we go. And you can also use it for two hands. Let's see how we did. I don't see any real edge damage. Held up very well. Nothing has come loose being full tang. I will continue my review. 
All right, continuing on, striking the Doomsday Machete uh, against the steel drum. I don't see any real edge damage. Look for yourself. All right, bring the camera over here and look at this. You can see where I actually struck right here. Come over and look at there. Impact mark where I was hitting. This one. I will continue my review. All right, continuing my review, I'm going to actually test the tip by stabbing it into the steel drum, see how it actually holds up. Let's look at the tip. Looks like it held up very well. A good sign of excellent tempering. I will continue my testing. Thanks. All right, continuing my torture test on the new Doomsday Machete, striking it against concrete. So here we go. No serious damage, just some slight edge damage. But the blade did not fail and is holding up very well to my testing. All right, another torture test for the Doomsday Machete, striking it against Rhinit. So here we go. As you can see it took some edge damage but the blade did not break or fail i'll have to buff this out but it's held up very well to my test and i will continue my testing thank you all right continuing my harsh testing on the doomsday machete against a standard machete that you can order so here we go Two hands. Let's compare the two. Here is a machete you can order online by a company that's been in business for many years. Here's the damage to that machete. Striking it against the Doomsday Machete. Here is the Doomsday Machete to compare the two. Sorry, I tried to hold it still. It's got some edge damage, but minimal. The damage to 
a standard machete you can order online. So I will finish up with my final thoughts on the Doomsday Machete. Hello, Jason Wood here with my final thoughts on the new Doomsday Machete. This is one of my own designs and I designed it so it would be a little heavier on the end for swinging so it takes less effort. It bounces about two and a half inches down the line. It's got a longer handle so you can one hand it or two hand it. And it's got a little protector here so your hand won't slip loose. Held it very well and it's got a saw back if you want to do any sawing. I have run this through the mill. I have struck wood, metal, concrete, granite. I have struck another machete also and it has held up very well. It has taken some minimal damage, but it has taken some damage, but it did not fail and it did not break. The damage mostly occurred striking the granite and I did get a good nick on the end striking uh, the machete, but there was no major damage to the blade other than that. It's held up very well, and I'm proud of the design. If you're wanting one of these, they're going to be available at thesword.com. Right, thank you guys for watching. Bye.